Mary Meet, this is Lady Neftes of Universal Pagan Temple, and I'm here with the top six list of tips for spell work. Now, this is a list that I've compiled over the years of doing magic for myself and magic for others. Now, tip number six plan ahead uh, to the day, moon phase, materials, and the gods or goddesses that you will be invoking any offerings you are to give them when you are seeking their aid. Tip number five, your materials. Make a list of everything you will need before you start your ritual and your spell work. I cannot stress this enough, where I've forgotten something so simple as an offering or incense, and I just ruined the entire spell. So, if you forget something, it'll throw off your energy, possibly irritating you, so you don't want those mundane worries like that interfere with your spell work. I have it all ready, and you won't have to worry about such things, and you can have a more successful spell. Number four, your intent. Know why you were doing the spell. Your intent is your will and your energy. Everything you do in association with this spell will affect it. The more time you spend working on putting together a spell, Planning it, putting together materials, the more powerful that spell will be because that is the combined intent into your spell. Number three, your spell will not work right away, and that's okay. Many spells may need to be repeated over a course of a month, or the spell's effects may not be apparent at first. The type of elemental energy you incorporate into your magic will determine the speed of your spell. Say if you're using fire in your spell work, then that spell should be the fastest in terms of seeing results. Now with fire spells, you will see results within a week or two, or sometimes even a few hours. Now if you use earth as a component of your spell work, say if you're bearing something away from your property, in terms of banishing it, or you are doing some type of fertility spell with Earth, those may take a couple of months to see results. And as far as the other two elements, water and air, they are in between fire and Earth in terms of speed. So say if you're taking a ritual bath, um, maybe that'll be a month or even three weeks. Same with uh, an air spell using incense or bells or what have you. Now I teach this to all my students and as I was taught, Alistair Crowley's definition of magic explains it so well. Magic is the science and art of causing change to occur in conformity with will. Magic is a science, so record all of your spells, whether they were a success or a failure. Record it in your book of shadows, your second book of shadows, your third book of shadows, just on a scratch piece of paper or notebook. Now, it's an art as well. So as you progress over the years, your spells will become better and more powerful as you learn about your own will and your own person and your relationship with the gods. Now your will is your intent. If your will for change is weak, then your spells will not work. You must want the change you seek, which leads us into the number one tip for spell work. Now the number one tip for spell work is you must put forth the action after the spell is done or else you're just telling the gods, the universe, what have you, that you really don't want the change you seek and are asking for. Just like if you plan to lose weight, if you just exercise and don't diet, or if you diet and don't exercise, you're not going to see the results. You're not going to see any change. You need to do both. In magic, it's much the same. If you do a money spell, and you don't pick up that extra shift at work when it's offered to you, or if you do a love attraction spell and you just give the cold shoulder to everyone that comes your way. 
It's just all your time, and energy, your will, your intent has just been wasted. Now, thank you guys for watching, and I really hope you guys have uh, taken something from this list, found something useful, because I've been through quite a bit teaching Wicca, um, practicing paganism, Wicca, witchcraft for all these years, and doing spells for other people, that I've encountered quite a bit, <laughs> quite a few issues myself, both Gregory and I. And I compiled this list in hopes that other people could avoid some of the same stupid and dumb mistakes that I have. I know it's part of the learning process, but I feel much better if, if I teach somebody something and they avoid what I've been through. It just makes it all worth it. Now, if you guys feel like I've deserved it, please leave me a like. And if you guys feel like I really deserve it, and you want to see more of my videos, and I'd love to give you more, please consider becoming a patron. And the link is right in the description below. Now, until next time, blessed be!